some things never change as far as I'm concerned. Whether it's good or bad, there is a sexed reality um, to our lives and sexual dim we're a sexually dimorphic species. We reproduce by sexual reproduction, not asexually. We can't technologically change those facts, although I think some people might be trying. But in the meantime, it, there is a sex reality that has social effects. Mm -hmm. And um, what I think is true about the comparison you've made is that in both cases, there's an attempt to control language, a very strong attempt to call, control language. So, you know, modern transactivism cannot change the fact that there are males and females. And there, I think, very likely always, well, there will, there will always be males and females. They can't change that, but they can stop us talking about it. They can take the word, any reference to womanhood, for instance, out of the language as we're seeing in Britain. There's a move in public policy to stop talking about women and to start talking about pregnant people or menstruators oh, yeah. or cervix havers. Of course, all those terms are incredibly biological as well. So it's not, yeah. but none of this is logical. Well, that's <laughs> makes sense. right. That's one of the many contradictions that I was hoping to talk to you about is that um, if I push back and say, for example, that, you know, only a woman can give birth, what I hear from a trans activist is that, oh, well, you are reducing women down to her, their capacity to give birth. What about women who can't give birth? Are you saying that she's not a woman? Well, of course, that's not what I'm, I'm saying. I'm not saying that only people who give yeah. birth are women. I'm saying yeah. the only people who uh, are the only women, you know what I'm saying. I'm only yeah, saying that saying. only I'm women can give say. birth. Um, but then they use terms like you just said, like cervix haver or gestator, which is actually uh, a lot more bioessential is, is what they would say than me saying mm -hmm. that only women yeah. can give birth. So it's a little confusing to me. It Well, it's, it's bad philosophy for a start. The whole premise on which it's based, the idea that in saying only women can give birth, you're somehow reducing women to their biology or to their birthing function is absolutely crazy. That is not how definitions work. 